let me show you one of the best food items in Valheim and explain exactly how you can get it easily even in the very early game. You need very little things to be able to get this item and you should be able to get this in the first like 2 hours of playing the game, something like that. And oh boy, oh boy, after you get it, trust me, your whole game will change. This gives so much HP that you won't need anything else HP-wise. You can just focus on your stamina and take on all the bosses that you want. Honestly, since I've discovered this, I've been using it every single time I did something more risky. And I'm talking about serpent meat. This comes in mainly two forms, the cooked form and the stew form. Basically the cooked form gives you 70 HP and 23 stamina and the stew form gives you a little bit more, 80 HP and 26 stamina. But the thing is, the difference might not be that much, but at the same time look at this. It's very, very cheap to make. Like if you just have a bunch of uh, beehives and some mushrooms that you've gathered on the way, you can easily craft this and just upgrade the stats by a little bit, but it's still an upgrade. Alright, now in order for you to be able to properly get this item, you need to set sail at night. And at some point you will be attacked by a sea serpent. And I know, that might seem terrifying, and it is pretty terrifying, but... You need to know a bunch of things about the sea serpent. First of all, it won't attack you if you're staying in your boat. It will start attacking you just the second you step out of your boat. Think about it as a raid. The monsters attack your city walls or your building walls just as much as they need to attack them in order to get to you. If you step outside your base, the monsters will come after you. It's the same thing with the sea serpent. The sea serpent wants to attack you. But because you're in the boat and he's in the water, he cannot do that until he destroys your boat. And that is why I suggest you don't bring a raft. The best ship you could bring is the long ship, but this is pretty mid-game. An early game option for you would be the carve. You can easily unlock this in the first like one hour in the Black Forest, which you can step in the Black Forest pretty early on, to be honest. So I would say it's fairly early game. The carve, it's not the best, but it's much better than the raft. It's much, much better than the raft. Because you need a ship that has plenty of HP. The raft might not be the best best choice, but it's the best early game choice. The next thing you need to know is because the sea monster doesn't attack you, the sea serpent doesn't attack you directly, it's a very good idea to have a bunch of stamina food. You won't need HP food. And if you, if you are into the position in which you will start needing HP food, so like the boat has been destroyed, you're sitting in the water and the serpent is attacking you, you're gonna die either way. So I would say focus on stamina. Just bring whatever, make sure you have enough stamina to be able to shoot this guy down with arrows. Because that's the main way you want to take it out, with a bow and arrow. And as you can see I have a fine wood bow, you get this by just unlocking bronze and cutting down some um, birch trees and some flint head arrows. Wood arrows work just as well, like I've tested those arrows and those do a lot of damage, like you kill the sea serpent in like 10 hits. 15 hits, something like that, double that, let's say 30 hits with the wood arrow, that's still pretty decent and the sea serpent won't manage to attack you always. Now some other things that you need to know about the sea serpent, because they're important details, first of all, if you kill it in the ocean, so like in the middle of water, you will just get half of the resources. What I mean by that, you will get all the food, like don't worry, the food, uh, the food items will be the same, but you won't get the scales, because the scales are heavy and they just sink. Now, personally, I would recommend that you try at some point to drag the serpent uh, on the shore. Because if you manage to get the scales, you can craft yourself this shield right here, which is a pretty good shield to be honest. But, 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 and this is important, block force 100, block armor 60. You can easily get this, almost the same things, as just, like if you just get the iron tower shield, or, or, you could get... Like I'm just giving you options just to let you know that it's not that important to get the scales, at least personally, but you make your own choice. Bone Tower Shield, look at this. I mean, no, this is not that great, but it's pretty good. Like, I've been running with this for a long, long time until I got the uh, Bandit Shield. The thing that you need to know about the Serpent Shield is the fact that it being a bigger shield, you cannot parry with it. And parrying, I feel like, goes a long way in this game. That is the main reason I didn't want to get it for myself. So personally... I would suggest, at first, just focus on the HP food. Focus on the HP food. Armor-wise, again, you don't need good armor. Because if you find yourself in the position in which you start needing good armor, that means that you're in the water and you are gonna die either way because you're in the middle of ocean. I would go as far as to say that you can even go naked and do this. Because honestly, the serpent won't attack you. 
And some other things that you need to know, the serpent only spawns at night and it's a great idea to mark the location of the serpent spawn because it will roughly spawn in the same location every single time. But more often than not, if you're just staying in water at midnight, you will start seeing water bubbling around you and a sea serpent just rising up. And the way to take it out is just by using a bow and arrow. And as you can see, like you don't need a good bow. This is the bow I used in uh, the video I'm about to show you because I'm about to show you exactly how it went for me the first time I fought a sea serpent. J just so you can see how easy it is. Here it goes. This is somewhat calming. Like, come on, look at this. Wait, I can actually hold on that? Too far. Oh, 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 oh! What is that? What is that? No! No, 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 no! I'm not, I'm not ready for it! What? It's the sea serpent! Ah! No, I'm going... Oh, no, this is bad. This is bad news. This is bad news. This is bad news. This is bad news. All right, all right, all right. Get out of here, Mog. Kill this guy. Boom. Okay, big damage. No, stop damaging my ship. Stop damaging my ship, you big... Oh, no. Oh, if I if I die here, like, if he damages my ship... Okay, okay, okay. Big damage, big damage, big damage. Boom. Come on. Boom. Easy kill. Please don't kill my ship. How... Okay, no. My ship is far away from being killed. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's great. Oh, I need to go. Why am I doing this alone? No! This is hard! This... Ah, no! Get out! Stop damaging my ship, damn you! Oh, come on, come on, come on. A couple more hits, a couple more hits. He's... No, he's retreating. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Turn, turn away, turn away, turn away. I'm not letting this guy get away. You're not going away, brother. You're not going away, brother. Are you going away? Oh, I think we killed it. Did we? Did we kill it? Seems like it, right? <sighs> Damn, that was tough. Damn, that was tough. I mean, wow, it took me by complete surprise. It took me by complete surprise. Like, I didn't expect him to show up like that. Is he dead? Yes, he's dead. <sighs> yes, he's dead. Yes, he is dead. You dead, son. Oh. Serpent meat. This makes, from what I've heard, for the best sources of food. Thank you so much, y'all, for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe, as that helps me out a huge bunch. That being said, if you want to watch more of us, those are some of our favorite videos. Thank you so much for watching. See y'all tomorrow.